Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video going over the brand new Pokemon Meltan, the new mythical Pokemon announced today. Now earlier on I did a reaction to the trailer in a breakdown where the two professors discover it and we found out that it was a new mythical Pokemon. But in this video I'm going to do a whole breakdown about everything we know so far. So from the website, the Reddit, the Twitter pages, everything we know, unless obviously something gets announced after this video went live. This is everything we know so far, so if you guys are excited for the video, drop a like down below, it really does help out. Leave a comment as well, do you like Meltan or are you not much of a fan of it at the moment? Be sure to subscribe as well, I do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though guys, let's get into the video and take a little bit more of a look at the new Pokemon Meltan. To start things off, we're on the official website, so a new species of Pokemon, one that nobody has ever seen before, has been discovered. This Pokemon is called Meltan, and as of now, it is quite the enigma. Look at this cute little dude right here. Just a little wave. Ah, he's so cute. So his name is Meltan. The category is the Hex Nut Pokemon, and it is a Steel type. Now, I didn't actually know that until after I made the video earlier, but I did put a comment anyway. But yes, it is a Steel type Pokemon. Now, I didn't. I, Steel did obviously look like it was gonna be the typing, because obviously it's the Hex Nut Pokemon, but it could have still had another typing in there as well, like, I don't know, Psychic maybe, or even Electric, but it is just a pure Steel type Pokemon. It is only 8 uh, inches tall, well, 0 0.08 inches tall, and it weighs 17.6 pounds, so very, very small, very, very light. Um, and yeah, it's just a little cute Pokemon. This tail, I definitely think, has something to do with whether it evolves or not, but let's keep reading. So, so most of Meltan's body is made from liquid metal, and its shape is very fluid. It can use its liquid arms and legs to corrode metal and absorb it into its own body. So it's kind of like melting things in a way. So it could have been fire steel in that sense. It might evolve into something that's fire steel. Like this might have something to do with like a fire typing if it does evolve. It is a mythical Pokemon, but we do know that mythical Pokemon can evolve. Just take a look at the fear and evolution line evolving into Manaphy. So it wouldn't surprise me if it can evolve. It doesn't look like this is the final thing that we can see for Meltan. I definitely think there's more to see. Uh, but anyway, it then goes on to say Meltan generates electricity using the metal it absorbs from outside sources. It uses this electricity as an energy source and also as an attack that can be fired from its eye. So it could even be an electric type as well if it evolves. It could easily go into steel fire or steel electric or maybe there could be more forms of uh, Meltan being an electric type or a fire type. Maybe if certain conditions are met, the form changes. Because we've not had a mythical Pokemon. Well, we have had a mythical Pokemon that can change forms, but not like this. Like, this would be crazy. I mean, I know we've got Meloetta and stuff, but this would be like all kind of new stuff. So, then goes on to say, clearly a curious Pokemon, Meltan is very expressive and shows an interest in all kinds of things. That actually helps my theory about the fact that it could have different forms. Like, maybe if it goes into a certain condition, it's interested in it. Maybe it does change the typing of it. Who knows? Maybe it has something to do with the tail. It then goes on to say, Mysterious Pokemon Ghost Sightings. So this is obviously the pictures. This is what was on Community Day when they just all appeared out of nowhere and they just started turning into Ditto and everything like that. So, many reports have come in about sightings of Ditto in Pokemon Go that have transformed into Meltan. The number of sightings has significantly decreased over the past few days, but it appears these Meltan are still appearing in various areas. You can still catch a Meltan if you haven't caught one yet. I know it turns into Ditto, but maybe something happens that allows that Ditto to turn back into Meltan. If you haven't got one yet, I would definitely, definitely, definitely suggest going out and catching one. Even though it will turn into Ditto, it might change back into Meltan, and maybe you might lose your chance of getting one. So definitely go out and catch one, guys. Cannot make that more clear. Like, you gotta go get a Meltan. Sorry about that loud clap. Anyway, research is being conducted on these appearances of Meltan. We have learned that Pokemon Go is somehow key to meeting this curious new Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We'll be sure to provide more updates as we discover more. So these are a couple of screenshots as well. So we've got Meltan in battle, so you are able to transfer Meltan from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It follows you, it's got a nice little expressive happy face there, but um, yeah, there's obviously some way of getting Meltan into Pokemon Go, so... I don't know if it's the gift Pokemon that we get, that you get from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that sends across to Pokemon Go. I don't think it's that, because obviously Meltan originates in Pokemon Go, 
and then you set, send it across into Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So I don't know if that is the new Pokemon that we know we're going to get. Who knows? We'll have to keep saying. But anyway, the professor's waiting. The appearance of this new Pokemon has attracted the attention of Professor Oak and Professor Willow. What do these two experts have to share about Meltan? So Professor Oak says, uh, Professor Oak does his research on Pokemon in his labor laboratory in the Kanto region. Part Town is one of the... Oh, so I don't, oh, that's just who they are. It doesn't actually say anything. So that's on the Pokemon website. So all we see is two screenshots. We know it's a Steel type and we also know it's a mythical Pokemon. So on Twitter, it doesn't really showcase anything new. Um, it just goes on like more about this. Every trainer knows that it's important to check the stats of the Pokemon you catch. Here's a rundown on Meltan. Already gone over that. It says Meltan has a body form liquid metal, but shape is very fluid. We already know that. And then it says, but it doesn't stop there. Meltan uses the metal in its body to generate electricity. We already know that. And it can be fired from, it, from its eye. That's going to be really cool. Um, we already know about that. Um, it says here, research is still being conducted on Meltan, but we have confirmed that Pokemon Go is key to meeting this curious new Pokemon. And Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And then uh, leading the way in Meltan research is Professor Willow. And then Kanto's uh, Professor Oak. Bloody, bloody, blah. So that's all that. And then obviously there's this Reddit post as well um from joe merrick on cerebi who says the nut pokemon isn't number 891 and it is a generation 7 pokemon not generation 8. doing a follow-up to my previous post where i was uh, pointing out about how 891 is almost certainly not its number so today i got some further information and with this we are able to come to all the correct conclusions using the power of data with help from this dude i have determined that 891 is not this pokemon's number and that is in fact a generation 7 pokemon so with the assets after genesite they all went into a random numbering system and then there's not much more logic too so 649 was the end of generation 5 and the first generation 6 pokemon's assets start at 701 with furfrow all the way up to 774 which is hooper with a couple of gaps in between then generation 7 starts at 801 with marini and goes to 888 with zero aura once again with some gaps now this pokemon is 891 in asset number skipping another two spots however it's not 901 which would indicate a generational shift so this both indicates that 891 is not a number and it is not a generation 8 pokemon or a preview of generation 8 pokemon if it was, logically, they'd have continued that pattern and started on 901 or it'd be over 900. For certain, it definitely showcases that the, the asset ID numbers have nothing to do with the national Pokedex numbers. All forms and Mega Evolutions are listed under the base Pokemon's asset numbers, so Mega Blastoise is that. For example, this with Alola form shows that Go and the main games share the same data as Alolan forms, uh, as that in both. Course is up in the air, but the facts here speak for themselves. So basically, Joe, who's like the smartest dude about Pokemon, saying that it isn't a Generation 8 Pokemon and it's a Generation 7 Pokemon. I thought it could have been like how Victini was, where um that was at like the start of Generation 5 as that mythical Pokemon before the starters. I thought Meltan might be something like that with Generation 8, but pretty much Joe has been like, nah, it's not the case at all. It is another Generation 7 Pokemon. So does that mean that we've got like a few more Generation 7 Pokemon to go? Because obviously we've got Meltan here. I'm not sure if Meltan is going to be the brand new Pokemon in the gift that's sent across from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee to Pokemon Go. So that could be another Generation 7 Pokemon. Who knows? Maybe you need Meltan to get that Pokemon. I really don't know. But um, it definitely is very, very interesting to see what, um, what, what unfolds about this Pokemon. But all we know at the moment is it is a Steel type Pokemon. It's a mythical Pokemon. It is most likely a Generation 7 Pokemon, and we still don't have anything about Generation 8. That's pretty much everything we know right now. So, yeah, that is pretty much everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this rundown about Meltan. I'm very excited to see more stuff about it, and I'm sure we're going to see more stuff about it in this week. It's only Tuesday at the moment, and we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some more information this week. Probably another one of those episodes with the professors showing more stuff about it. I really hope that is the case, because that would be really cool. But it's really awesome to see a brand new Pokemon that has now been confirmed. It's not a placeholder, nothing like that. It is an actual generation, most likely seven Pokemon. It's got its own typing. It's a mythical Pokemon. I'm excited. I'm just, they're, they're right around the corner of the games are, and oh man, I'm so, so excited. So yeah, if you haven't caught a Meltan yet in Pokemon Go, download the game. Go out and get one because you can put it into Let's Go Peter and Let's Go Eevee. Even if you don't like Pokemon Go that much, 
you're probably going to miss out on getting Meltan if you don't get one from Pokemon Go. Maybe you can't trade it. Maybe it's only possible to get this Pokemon through Pokemon Go. So even if you don't like Pokemon Go at all, you're not bothered about it at all, but you're getting Let's Go Peach or Let's Go Eevee, just do this one little thing. Just download it, go outside for an hour, catch Meltan. You've got it sorted. Like, you don't have to think about it again because I'm pretty sure you're going to have to uh, get it this way. I'm not I'm not sure if you're going to have to trade it or not, but just in case, you're going to want a Meltan. So, yeah, that is everything for this video. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you're brand new. Leave a comment. Do you like Meltan? Have you already caught Meltan? Let me know. And, uh, yeah, that's everything from me, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an incredible rest of your day. And until next time, peace.